Hey boys and girls, welcome to Good News Club today. Welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome everyone. everyone. All right, and what are we going to celebrate? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus rose again. That's right, we're resurrection. We're going to celebrate that today. Easter's a day. Easter's a day we can celebrate. We can celebrate. Christ is alive. Christ is alive, and His Word is true, and His Word is true. Easter's the day we can celebrate. Christ is alive, and His Word is true. Easter's the day, Easter's the day we can celebrate. Alright, that's a good song. Yeah. How'd you guys like that? Good. Great. Can you sing it with us? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Okay. Easter's a day, Easter's a day, we can celebrate, we can celebrate. Christ is alive, Christ is alive, and His Word is true, and His Word is true. Easter's a day, we can celebrate, Christ is alive, and His Word is true. Easter's a day, Easter's a day, we can celebrate. Here's my favorite thing I love showing you guys. Happy face! Because I'm so glad you're here. And you, guess who else is glad you're here? God. God, that's right. And Miss Janice and Miss Karen, we're all so glad you're here, guys. And that giraffe over there. Now, last week, Miss Janice taught us from the Bible. She was reading from Matthew 28. And remember what we were learning? We learned last week all about when Jesus went to Calvary and he carried his own cross and he died upon the cross, didn't he? And what else did we learn that day? They were mocking him. That he was crucified with two thieves and many people saw Jesus hanging on that cross. Many people saw him suffering. They heard people making fun of him and they saw Jesus die. They saw him die. And somebody in that crowd that day was a woman named Mary. Her name was Mary Magdalene. <gasps> that's that's uh, his mother. Yeah, I mean, his mother's we name is Mary a, too. Mary was out. probably Mary was probably there when they took Jesus' body down and they laid him into the grave, into like a, a cave or something. A tomb. Else. Like a tomb. Yeah, a tomb. Yeah, a tomb. That's what it was called. And they put a big old stone in front of it. You know because why? Someone could steal it. You know why? Because the religious leaders heard Jesus say that he was going to come alive again in three days. And I'm not so sure if they believed it or not, but they were afraid the disciples might come and steal the body. So they made sure that they had a big stone rolled in front of them where Jesus was laid because he was dead. And then they had two guards that stood in front of it. And you know what? If those guards didn't do their duty, you know what happened to them? They were killed. So you bet they were going to do their job. They were standing guard over there. Well, poor Mary was so upset because she was a faithful follower of Jesus. He was her friend. She loved him. And she was one of the ones that saw him suffer and die. And she probably thought to herself, heart was broken and she probably thought I'm never going to be happy again not ever but then Sunday came okay let's see what happened well you know boys and girls it was very early in the morning you know sometimes it's when the first thing in the morning it's still kind of dark and it just starts to get light well that's about the time the Bible says it was and an angel appeared before that tomb and the angel rolled the stone away right in front of the guards. And the Bible says that the guards were so scared that they fainted and they fell down. Oh my gosh, they were so scared. And you know what? The angel rolled away the stone not to keep Jesus inside or not to let anybody in, but to show everybody that he was not there, that that tomb was now empty. Well, the guards when, oh no, when they woke up, oh my man, they got so scared, and they ran into town. And they had to tell the Jews, the religious leaders, that 
the stones rolled away and he's not in there anymore. Oh my gosh, I think they were scared. Well, just about the same time that this was happening, Mary and some other women were going to the tomb where Jesus had laid because he was dead and they wanted to put these special oils and spices on Jesus' body, which is something that they did in the, those days. And you know, Mary couldn't wait to get there. Even though it was kind of dark at first, she couldn't wait to get there because she really loved Jesus and she wanted to show how much she loved him. She wanted to put special spices on his body. You know, Jesus cared so much for Mary. And did you know, boys and girls, how much Jesus cares for you? You know, the Bible tells us in Jeremiah 31, 3, it says that God's love is never ending. You know, one of our songs is, God's love is like a circle. Remember how we've sang those songs before? Yeah, God's love is like a circle. And oh, that's because... Only not for the, the devil. Right. God's love is like a circle. It tells us in Jeremiah 31, 3, that God's love is everlasting. It never stops. Now, if I were to draw you a circle, you could probably tell where I started and where I ended. No. But God's love never, never ends. In fact, the Bible tells us in 1 John that God is love. And God loved Mary so much. And Jesus loved Mary. And that's why she was on her way to put special oils and spices on his body. Now she started getting close. She was getting closer and closer to the tomb. Boys and girls, getting closer. And she thought she saw something different. She got closer and closer. And, and she looked and noted and realized the, the stone's not in front. What happened to the stone? And she got closer, and she looked inside the cave, and she realized Jesus isn't there. And what she did see was she saw some cloths in there. In fact, the ones that he was buried with. But he wasn't there. She got really freaked out. All she could do was just, she just ran back. She goes, I've got to tell the disciples. And she ran right past the women, and she never even told them where she was going or what she was doing. And they got closer, and they realized the stones rolled away. And you know what? There was an angel there. Now the angel told the women, they said, don't be afraid. I know you're looking for Jesus. And this is what the angel told them. The angel said in Matthew 28, 6, the angel told them, he's not here. He's risen, just like he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Now Mary didn't hear that because she ran away, but the women heard it. So boys and girls, this is actually our Bible verse for this week. And I want to say this together with you guys, okay? So let me just ask you. Now the women went up there and they saw an angel sitting there. And what did the angel tell the women? Can you read this and tell me? He is not here. He has risen. Just as he said. That's exactly what it says risen. here. Good job, you guys. I thought that was supposed to be risen, but it's risen. It's risen, honey. Yeah. Let's say it together with me, okay? Matthew 28, 6. He's not here. He is risen, just like he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Very good, you guys. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Matthew 28, 6. And that's exactly what the angel told the ladies. And then the angel said, now go and tell the disciples that he's risen from the dead. And the Bible says, oh man, they, they took off. They took off running. They were a little bit scared and a little bit excited. In fact, very excited. But it was just so unreal. They saw Jesus hanging on that cross and they saw him die. They saw him take his dead body down. And what? Now he's alive, he's not there. But you know what? Just like he said, the angel was telling him, he's not here. Mary found John 
and Peter. And she said, they've taken his body and I don't know where they've laid him. And they're probably thinking, what? What are you saying? Well, they just took off. They took off and Mary went too, but they were faster than she was. Now the Bible says that John got to the tomb first. And he looked inside. And he did see some cloths laying there. And he went, hmm. And then Peter shows up, and he runs right past John, and he goes inside the tomb, and he looks. And he's looking like that. Well, the Bible says that John went in the tomb, and he was looking. And he noticed there was cloths over here where Jesus had been wrapped up. And there was a place right here, a smaller bit of cloth that had wrapped around Jesus' head. And they were nice and folded. And he's looking at it. And all of a sudden he goes, oh, it's true. He remembered what Jesus said. Jesus told him that he would die, but three days later he would come alive again. And, G and John is remembering as he's looking there. John saw the proof that Jesus was alive. Well, Peter and John left. They looked inside, they didn't see Jesus' body, and they went back. They went back to tell the disciples. But Mary stayed behind. You see, Mary still didn't understand what was happening. Her heart was still broken. And she was so sad. She was crying, the Bible tells us. Her best friend had died, and now the body's gone? What does that mean? She just doesn't know. She felt like he was the only one that loved her and cared for her. He had rescued her from guilt and shame. And boys and girls, has Jesus rescued you from guilt and shame? Yeah. That was like a minute to minute. You know we were born in sin, the Bible tells us? Yes. I and sin is anything that you think or say or do that breaks God's laws or displeases God. Well, Jesus had forgiven her. She loved Jesus, but she didn't understand what was happening. Jesus rescued her, Mary. He rescued you from the guilt of your sin, and he rescued me. Jesus died for the sins of the world, boys and girls. Well, Mary is crying, and the Bible says that she looks inside again. And... She sees an angel in there, and the angel says, who are you looking for? And she says, please, if you've taken my Lord away, tell me where you've laid him. And then she backed away, and she was crying again, and she ran across this man, and this man said, why are you crying, and who are you looking for? And she thought he was the gardener. And she said, if you've taken his body, please tell me where you've laid him. And he spoke to her, and he said, Mary. You know what? She realized at that moment, that was Jesus speaking to her. Jesus was speaking to her, boys and girls. And she said, Master. And you know she just wanted to hug him and jump up and down and everything. And he told her, Mary, go tell the disciples that I'm alive and tell them that I'm going to the Father. Well, you know, can you just imagine how she felt? Now she's looking at Jesus, looking right at him. They're speaking to each other, eye to eye. Jesus, who she saw suffer and die on the cross, he's alive, just like he said. Well, she was so excited, she did. She probably ran all the way to tell the disciples. Oh, boy, she was so happy. Jesus had died for her sins, and now he was alive. She can't wait to tell the guys. And what did he tell her again? He said, go tell them, I'm alive. And that's what Jesus wants us to tell other people, too. That's right. Jesus told Mary, he told the disciples, and he tells us. You know, it says here in Mark... Mark 16, 15, go into all the world and tell everybody that Jesus is alive. Now, boys and girls, I have a question for you. I thought, okay, when I first read that verse, I thought, how can I go to all the world? Kind of an interesting verse. But boys and girls, let me just ask you this. Who can you tell 
that Jesus is alive. Friends. Friends. Family. Very good. Jamie? Family. Family. Very good, Jamie. Skylar? Oops. Friends and Reese in my class. Yeah, good. That's who you can tell. Yes. Who can you tell? You can tell everyone. Everyone. Yes. Who did you want to say? Cousin. Your cousin? Yeah, that's, that's who you can cool. tell. And let's see. What would you tell them? Allison? Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Sativa? I mean, no, I'm sorry. Nellie? That Jesus loves me. Yeah, that's good. That'd be a good thing to say. And you know what else, boys and girls? You can tell Jesus some of the things you learn in Good News Clubs, right? That's what you could tell them about Jesus and what will happen if you tell them. You know what, boys and girls? Sometimes they won't believe you. I'm sorry to tell you that, but sometimes they won't believe you. Sometimes they might laugh. But you know what? You could tell them anyway. And just trust God, because that's the truth. You could tell them the truth and not worry about if they believe you or not, okay? It's wonderful to tell people that Jesus is alive. Caden? Okay? So maybe if they, they laugh at you or um, say that's not true, you can bring them and say, I'll show you you can show them something. From the Bible. You could show them from the Bible how God loves them, huh? Well, Mary went and told the disciples, and then she left them. And she probably told others. I mean, if... If Jesus told me to go tell the disciples, I think I'd tell everybody along the way. I think I'd tell my dog, my kitty, my bird. I'd tell everybody. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know what, boys and girls? Listen to this, please. Listen to this. Okay. She went and told the disciples. She had told them earlier. So, but that evening... You know, the disciples were in their house. And I don't know if they completely believed. You know why? Because they locked up their house tight. They didn't want anybody getting in because the Bible says they were afraid of the Jews. They were afraid the Jews would arrest them. So they had their doors locked up tight. So nobody could come in. Except somebody did come in and just appeared right in front of the room. And it was Jesus. And you know what Jesus said? He said, peace be with you. And then they noticed his hands, that he had nail prints on his hands. They realized that was Jesus. They had seen Jesus crucified on the cross, bleeding, and now they're seeing him alive, except they do see the prints that were in his hands. And you know, this is what Jesus told them in John 20, 21. Right here. It says, As the Father has sent me, I also send you. And he wanted them to go out and tell everybody. To tell everybody what? About Jesus. About Jesus. And tell them that he is alive, right? That Jesus, God the Son, he had died for sins and came back alive again. He wanted them to tell everybody that Jesus died for their sins, boys and girls. And that's why Miss Janice and I are so glad that you always come to Good News Club, because we want you to know that you have a loving, living Savior who lives in heaven. And he's looking at you, and he loves you, and he wants you to believe in him, boys and girls, that he took the punishment for your sin, and that he died for that. And three days later, He's alive. He's alive again. So praise the Lord, you guys. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Let's sing our song again, Miss Janice, shall we? Okay. Right. Easter's a day. Easter's a day. We can celebrate. We can celebrate. Christ is
attention and then have a child come up and turn this over and there's points on the back. Oh, and who can read? Yeah. What do they? What do they say?
Who are two people that you could tell about Jesus? Very good.